Hello Mindful Foodies, Inga from Health Origins here. So today we're going to be talking about a third principle of intuitive eating, which is make peace with food. So what does that actually mean? Well, that means not dividing foods into good, bad, not restricting yourself or, um, you know, not allowing yourself to eat specific foods. That means making peace with any kind of food. So, um, personally, me, I, you know, me and, and my husband, we normally don't cook or eat anything with oil. Um, and um, that is a type of restriction, right? Um, and, and, that could be something like that so perhaps you are um minimizing carbs and or you know not eating specific things and things like that and um, i mean other types of restrictions um might not be restrictions per se for example for me veganism i don't see it as a restriction because i understand that animal um, products, animal um, kind of, um, what do you call it? Yeah, products, you wouldn't even call it food, to me are not food because I know that our body is not made for animal products, animal-based products. Our body is uh, naturally made for a plant food diet. So to me, I, you know, not eating meat or dairy um, or eggs, it's not really a restriction. I don't feel that it's a restriction. I feel that it's just the correct way to eat. So yeah, so if you are obviously on a um, specific diet because, you know, for the right reasons, not just to lose weight. So if you're on a vegan diet, for example, just to, um, to lose weight and you haven't quite internalized and understood that um, animal foods are not really our, you know, real foods, uh, then you will feel that you're restricting yourself, that you will feel that you're um, not allowing yourself to have some specific foods, right? So yeah, but we want to, you know, get our minds from that. We want to free all the food. Um, so there's um, a great exercise that the ladies in the book recommend you can do to actually free all the foods. So um, you need to take a piece of paper and a pen and then you need to write down all your most favorite meals. You know, um, don't divide them into good, bad or, you know, I shouldn't have. No, everything is allowed and put all of the foods that you love the most on that list right then look through the list and the foods that you already currently allow yourself to eat then you know put a tick to them and you know that's fine but then go to the foods that you currently not allow yourself to eat or restrict them and then circle them and then what you're gonna want to do you want to free those foods one food at a time so for example, let's say your first most favorite food that you restrict currently is ice cream, right? So what you need to do is you need to go and buy yourself your favorite brand of ice cream, your favorite ice cream, and always have that at home, have your freezer stocked, that whenever you feel you know, drawn to have that ice cream or whatever other dish you know, of your choice, that you've got that on hand and um, you know if 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 it's too scary for you you might kind of want to just do maybe go to a, your favorite cafe and ordering it there whenever you feel like it you know if, if you don't if it's too scary for you to have it at home to have that food at home perhaps you can start with you know eating it whenever you feel like it's out or in a cafe or somewhere but then you know work your way into having it constantly available 
so you feel like you can have it whenever you want and just have it whenever you want it don't restrict it what will happen you'll see is that it will lose its draw its magnetic draw because a, a food that you restrict or you know kind of forbid yourself to have you are drawn more towards it right so when you actually allow yourself to have a food freely as often and, and as much as you want that food loses its magnetic power and draw and you no longer obsess over it it's called habituation so it's called yeah hab you know getting habituated to a particular food right so you might think oh well i'll never stop eating you know i'll keep on eating that ice cream you know until i die <laughs> you know i'll just keep on eating one bucket after another but trust me you will not you will get sick because your body is so clever if you've eaten you know a lot of sweet things i find for, for example personally that i crave something savory then like a different kind of taste a different kind of texture um and that's what happens you know with with your body it it is is it is built for variety of foods right so if you are constantly just eating one thing you know or obsessed and constantly eating one thing you will see you will automatically either get sick of it or it will lose its draw and you'll not want it that often or not even want it at all you might make sick you know make yourself sick of it so i know in the book they mentioned one lady was so obsessed with this um strawberry licorice or something um and she ate it and ate it constantly but afterwards she didn't even want to see it anymore because she just got so used to it and habituated and just got sick of it actually um so yeah so either you will lose interest in that food you know i'll not want to have it at all or you know not as often um and then you can you know once you know that you can have it as many times and as often and as much as you want um you know once you know that deep in your head and your heart once your mind understands that that's you um having freed that food okay and then continue down the list you don't have to go through all of the foods that way but you know go through a few until you understand truly within yourself understand that no food should be a taboo there should be no taboos or restrictions with food you should allow yourself to eat whatever you feel like whatever you fancy because your body is quite good once you start listening to it your body is quite good at telling you what you know it, it's kind of feeling like eating what what it craves what it would like so yeah so you know do this exercise free some foods and you know so that you you know fully know in your head and your heart that there's no one food that you don't allow or restrict um so yeah make peace with food so that's basically your homework if you've got some foods that you're restricting not allowing yourself to have because you think they're bad fatty or whatever um then go through this exercise to truly free yourself and release that and you know free those foods um you might think well yeah it's not healthy though to eat you know chips or crisps or you know other fatty and sugary things all the time and yes we'll get to that later on um you know kind of down the line but first of all you need to do this exercise to mentally understand that no food is out of bounds um no food is restricted because as soon as you restrict something okay you want more of it and then what happens you get like rebound eating so if you restrict something especially carbohydrates um please never ever restrict your carbohydrates because carbohydrates are the preferred 
fuel off your body um, yes you know we'll talk about nutrition at the end um, that's what the ladies do they talk about nutrition in the last tenth principle um, you know and it's a difference where it's brown rice or white bread you know so it's both carbohydrates but obviously one will be better for you one not you know not as good for you but at this point um, you know don't don't uh, think about any of that don't think about nutrition don't think about good bad nothing just your task is to free the foods for yourself so you know in your head you can eat whatever you wish and you fancy whatever you crave okay because you know like I say once you restrict a food you're even more drawn to it okay and you're torturing yourself um, you know and you kind of for craving that food and if you restrict yourself especially like I said carbs then you are bound to get rebound eating or last supper eating so for example it's quite common for people that are thinking of going on a diet right they're thinking of restricting a certain certain nutrient like carbohydrates or whatever else or not eating you know oil or not eating this or that um you know after like say from from monday or from you know from whatever first of july um what they start doing is do last supper eating until that day so they are like really consuming you know that food heavily um you know until then they because they know that they'll have to restrict or eliminate that food so they just overdo it and binge eat it or if they've been restricting for a while you know once they kind of fall off the wagon if, as people say um, and broken their diet uh, broken their restriction then they rebound eat and they eat way much more than they would have eaten had they not restricted themselves so it's it's a really like strange phenomena like called last supper eating and rebound eating and it's all to do with restricting yourself a certain type of food or you know amount of food you know basically having a restriction or you know elimination of some food um, that can trigger those those two things you know last supper eating and rebound eating as well also I forgot to mention that there is no such thing as food addiction you know while allowing yourself to eat whatever you want as often as you want you might think that you will get addicted to food or that food addiction is an actual thing there were quite a few studies done to date that did not establish any connection um, between um, eating you know like having um, more food and food addiction uh, people were actually cured of their food addiction with food if it was real addiction like cocaine for example like drugs for example then the only way to really heal and cure these people is through completely eliminating that toxin so you know whether it's alcohol or drugs whereas with food um, people were actually healed their addictions were healed with giving them healthy and more food so so yeah so don't be afraid there is no such a thing as food addiction you'll not get addicted to food so yeah so that should not be in your worries and another thing important to remember what to truly truly release and free the foods you have to um, do that without thinking of a future penance so sometimes people say well I'll eat this food you know now whatever it is cake piece of pie or um, or you know um, dessert or some kind of ice cream or whatever and then I will have less food tomorrow or not you know eat as much tomorrow and um, things like that having like future penance or I'll have to run an hour or two hours you know afterwards or tomorrow to kind of um, compensate for that so no um, none of that you should not feel any of the future penance um, you know for when you're eating to truly 
release and free the foods you should eat just with no penance with no penalties in the future just eat and allow yourself to have um the the foods that you love as much and how as often as you would like um because to truly release the food there should not be somewhere in the back of my mind thinking oh but i'll have to exercise it off or i'll have to stop eating this you know tomorrow or i'll not eat as you know kind of as much of this i'll i'll reduce that you know no just fully release it fully let it go and trust in your body and your body's ability to regulate you know how much calories how much food it needs without any future penance thoughts so yeah so i hope and i hope you learned something i hope you're gonna do your homework for me personally i had to free up oil because like i said i wasn't using oil and you know there were a couple of traditional lithuanian recipes like fried bread with garlic um that normally made with obviously oil frying the bread in oil um and it doesn't quite taste like that without oil and i was kind of craving it because obviously i never make that for myself don't allow to have it um so i had to free that up you know and basically um a couple of other dishes that would use oil i had to go through this exercise to free them to fully understand that actually yes i can eat it if i want it but what i came you know to understand at the end that the way the oily foods made me feel it made me feel a bit sickly it made me feel quite sluggish and and sleepy and so i decided not to have the oils anyway at the end you know myself but not because i kind of restrict or don't allow myself for a specific reason because it's oil it's not healthy but just literally of the way i feel i kind of released that food i freed that food and then you know made a decision that really i don't want to feel that way i don't want to eat oily foods very often maybe once in a while but but not very often so yeah so you might find the same once you free a food you might actually say well actually i don't feel great after eating you know that food so yeah so watch your body listen to your body telling you things so when you allow yourself to eat your restricted food see how your body feels see if you're still enjoying it you know you might no longer be actually enjoying it um in the book one lady um, really thought she loved birthday cakes um, and she would kind of, you know, gorged on two pieces normally, you know, because normally she would not allow herself to have the birthday cake at home. So when she used to go somewhere to a birthday party, she would use to kind of devour a couple of um, birthday cake pieces, you know, so fast that she wouldn't even, you know, taste them. Um, but when she allowed herself to eat birthday cake as much as she wanted to, as often as she wanted to, she started tasting a difference between some cakes that are tasted bland and, you know, soggy or just, you know, she started actually tasting the food and seeing which ones she enjoys and which ones she doesn't. Um, and then in the end, um, the way it worked out that she only, um, you know, ate only specific cakes and it it became like a nice treat and something that she was mindfully choosing to do instead of just being so drawn and attracted to it because of not being allowed it you know all the time being restricted so yeah so you know let your body guide you and see how you feel and um, see what it tells you and obviously listen um while you're freeing those foods for yourself so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something um you know i hope you'll free some of your restricted foods so you know truly inside your heart and mind that no foods are off the limits you can have anything you want 
and you choose what foods to actually eat. Um, and as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time. Thank you.